Hello, lovely people. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Micah, and this is Make It With Micah, where I focus on DIYs and decor. And if you're returning, I want to thank you so much for joining me again. Today, you guys, I have some amazing Easter themed DIYs for you. I hope you love them. I just loved them all. And I want to thank you so much for all of your love on my last Easter DIY video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box below. Anyway, you guys, we have a lot to get to, so let's get into these DIYs. For this first DIY, you're gonna wanna grab two of these foam circles. Now, I got these from Family Dollar. And then two of the terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree. I also grabbed some of these tall wood dowels from the Dollar Tree and a couple packs of the foam eggs. Now for this DIY, we are going to make some Easter egg topiaries. And I like to start off by placing my wooden dowel in the foam ball. Once you have located your hole, you're going to want to put some hot glue in the hole and secure the dowel in the hole. Now I used some of this wrapping paper from Amazon, but the Dollar Tree has the same thing. And then I'm going to remove the ribbons from my foam eggs and set them all aside. I am then gonna take my hot glue and just secure the eggs to the foam. I probably spaced them out maybe like half an inch apart. I mean, you, you definitely could put them closer. It all depends on your preference. But I wanted some of that wrapping paper, shredded paper, to show through between my eggs. Once all of the eggs are in place, I took some of that wrapping paper or shredded paper, I don't really know what you call it, and I carefully put it in between the foam eggs. I used a butter knife to kind of like smush it down and secure it to the foam with the hot glue. Once all of the shredded paper is secure, I kind of give it a little haircut and trim it down so that it's all even. Next, I took this spray paint from Rust-Oleum and I sprayed the planter so that it was white. I then took some of this floral foam from the Dollar Tree, cut it to size, and glued it inside of that little planter. I then secured the dowel inside of the foam, and then I covered it up with some of that shredded paper. And here is the finished result. What do you guys think? I just love these topiaries and they were so easy to make. For this next DIY, you're gonna wanna grab one of these stuffed rabbits from the Dollar Tree. And one of these metal pails from the Dollar Tree. I did end up removing the handle from the pail with a pair of pliers. 
and then one of these little glass jars with a lid, also from the Dollar Tree. Now, unfortunately, um, we had to take the arms and the head off of this rabbit, but it's okay. He survived it. <laughs> I didn't throw the bottom away because I can use that to make a gnome. And if you didn't see how I make this rabbit into a gnome, I did that in my last Easter video, which I will link below. Next, now I spray painted the pail, but I didn't like the color of the spray paint. It was too much of like a beige color. So I ended up painting it white with some Waverly chalk paint. I wanted the pail to match the rabbit's face. Next, I wanted to glue the rabbit's head to this jar and I was trying to figure out what would be the best fit and I decided that the bottom of the jar was a better fit than the top, so that's what I ended up doing. What that means then is that, so what we're making is a gumball machine if you haven't figured it out and what that means is the gumball part is kind of gonna open up upside down, but that's okay. I then coated the jar with some hot glue and some E6000 and I put it on that pail. Next, I then secured the rabbit's head to the bottom of the jar using my glue gun. After that, I glued on the hands and then I added a little bit of ribbon as an embellishment and then I stuffed our little bunny gumball machine with some marshmallows and here is the finished result. I just think he is so cute. I am loving these little bunnies. I get that they're really hard to find. If you can't find a Dollar Tree bunny, don't be discouraged. You can always just use like another bunny stuffed animal from another store and you can get the same or similar results. For this next DIY, you're going to want to grab one of these large rabbit eggs from the Dollar Tree. And I also used one of these smaller eggs from Walmart, it was 99 cents. And what we are going to do is do a decoupage treatment, I think that's how you say it. So first I painted the eggs white using some spray paint, any really color will do. And then I grabbed these napkins from the Dollar Tree. And then I grabbed some gloss Mod Podge. Now the Mod Podge is essential. I then opened up the napkin and I separated the two layers of the napkin so that I'm only dealing with one layer. Then after I did that, I kind of wanted to see what kind of shapes I wanted to sort of put on my egg. And then I cut out certain sections of the napkin to Mod Podge to the egg. Now this is the first time I had ever done this napkin Mod Podge technique. So it gets a little rough here, guys. I'll be honest with you. And I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, but I am floored by it the results, I have to tell you. So next, I just kind of like spread Mod Podge around the egg and laid sections of the napkin on the egg. There wasn't any sort of like, you know, any kind of special grace or technique with which, you know, I did this. Again, I'm really quite frankly shocked by how well this turned out.
If I could leave you with any advice for this technique, my tips would be to use one of these sponge brushes from the Dollar Tree and to really be careful not to apply too much pressure because you are using a very thin napkin and it does get very saturated with the Mod Podge. Having said that, if you do make a mistake, you know, you could just rip up the napkin and do it again. But by and large, this is a very easy technique. Um, and I mean, I just love how it turned out. I mean, look at this. It's just so pretty. It looks so much more high end than it really is. And since I was confident and I felt that I could do it, I grabbed that bunny egg and I went to town. Now, rather than doing small sections, I got a little bit confident and I just cut large sections of the napkin and applied the Mod Podge very liberally all over the egg. As you can see, I just kind of cut a large section of the napkin, cut it to the size and area that I wanted it to fit, and then I spread Mod Podge all over the egg, and then I laid the napkin on top, and then I put another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. And here is the finished result. I just love how these Mod Podge napkin eggs turned out, AKA decoupage. I think they are so chic. They look so much more high end than they really are. And like I said, they really all kind of like came together. I was actually quite surprised. but for sure you guys, if I can do this, you can do this. And the great thing about this technique is that, you know, it's very versatile. You can use different napkins for different holidays, different objects. I mean, really the sky is the limit. I will say, I think it took probably maybe three or four hours for everything to dry, probably longer. I actually just left everything overnight. For this next DIY, I grabbed some of these window clings from the Dollar Tree. 
I didn't use all of them, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse at some of the different varieties that the Dollar Tree had this year. I then took a plate from the Dollar Tree and put one of those window clings right on the plate. Now if you wanted more of a permanent hold, you could use some Mod Podge and just coat the top of the, of the plate with Mod Podge, but I didn't think that was necessary and I wanted to be able to reuse this plate for something else in the future. Obviously this is not a plate that I'm going to eat on, this is purely for decoration. I just love how this turned out. I then took another one of those window clings and again I just peeled it off and put it right on that plate. You can find similar plates like this at Pottery Barn and other high-end stores going for upwards of $25 to $30 per plate. And here is the finished result. I just think this plate just looks so pretty. It looks so high end. Nobody would ever guess that the plate basically cost less than $2. For this next DIY, I grabbed one of these little bunny heads from the Dollar Tree and I removed all of the tinsel. Once the tinsel was removed, I grabbed some of this fluffy yarn that I got from Joann's and I wrapped the bunny head with that yarn. I believe this yarn is from the Buttercream brand or something like that. It's very plush and I just love it. And here is the finished bunny. I loved it so much that I actually repeated that process for a larger bunny head, also from the Dollar Tree. And here he is. I use these bunnies in my daughter's room and they are just so cute. For this next DIY, I grabbed some of these wood bunny shapes from, I believe I got these from Michael's, and I painted them to look like peeps and then I strung them on a string to make an adorable garland. I'm gonna use this garland for my kids' Easter party, which I hope to film for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And here are the paint colors that I used for this DIY. I will do my best to link them in the description box. For this next DIY, I grabbed this two pack of reef rings from the Dollar Tree and some foliage. I also grabbed two packs of the Dollar Tree eggs. I separated some of the foliage and I just glued it to the reef. Once the reef was very full, I then attached the eggs. And here is the finished reef. Now I wanted to give it a little bit more pizzazz so I grabbed this shutter that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year that I hadn't used yet. 
you know I really hate when manufacturers put these stickers on the front of the objects but my heat gun is very helpful and removing that sticker once the sticker was off I attached a reef and here is the finished result I just love how this turned out I think it is super cute and super high-end And that is it you guys. I hope you like these DIYs. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I think the bunny gumball machine is definitely my favorite. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if we're not friends yet, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I have some new content coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, take care.